the new iBreeze Auto CPAP by ResVent. Step-by-step instructions and a review. I'm Chris with AffinityHM.com. Let's get right into it. So when you get your iBreeze, you will notice that your technician who sent it to you should have already set the pressure on it, but it's a really simple machine actually. There's an on and off button right here on the top. There's a ramp button right here. And then you have all of these various screens that you can scroll through. Notice that over here on the side of the machine, right here, there's a little door that will open up. And inside of that door, once open, you'll see there's a simple little filter that should re be replaced on a regular basis. It is shaped in such a way that there's only one way that this filter can actually fit into the little compartment. And just place that filter in there, shut the door. Then also there is an SD card inside here. So the SD card can be pressed in and that will release it, pull it out, read it with the card reader, and you're good to go with your, all of your reports and such. All right, then over here on the right side of the machine is the actual, first of all, this is the water container or the water tank, water chamber. And you'll actually be able to see how much water is in it uh, from the side because of this little glass piece. But the chamber can come out, it just slides right out the side like so. And you also can open it up if you notice on one side of it, it actually has a little arrow. So you pop this piece apart and then the whole lid actually becomes detached and comes off. So you put your fresh distilled water in there, make sure you fill it up to near the maximum level. Or if you want, you know, a lot of people just put it halfway full with the distilled water, but get your water in there, distilled water only. You'll notice there's a couple of little pieces in the back so that the hinge has to fit just right. But once the hinge part in the back is connected correctly, you can lower the lid, press down a little bit, and snap that latch back shut. With the water in place, place it into the side, and you're ready for the night. So over in the back of the machine, there's this, this is where your actual hose for your CPAP is going to connect. Uh, whenever you do receive this, this probably will not be attached. Let me take this off, I want to show you. It just turns counterclockwise about a quarter of a turn and then it will actually, actually come off like this. And this is what you got. So you may actually receive your unit with two separate pieces like such. But notice there's a little arrow on the one side of the little uh, connector. Just place it in place. Turn it counterclockwise. Be sure that it goes all the way to the snap. Right there. Now you're ready. Okay. So that's everything about the machine. Let's get into these menus. I want to really show you uh, what each and every item in the menu can do. So right now I have this in the patient menu and it is set on IPAP. So speaking of menus, first of all, there's a patient menu, then there's also a clinical slash doctor menu. The clinical doctor menu is where the provider will set the pressure according to your prescription. So I'll show you that menu in here in just a minute. But right now, let's look at the menu that you would see whenever you are uh, ready to use your CPAP. Now, I know this picture is a little blurry, but uh, I've done my best to get a good picture for you. And let's start off with info. First of all, the little dial on the right, you turn the dial and the cursor moves. Once you have it set on the item that you want to look at, you press the dial in and then it gives you more information. So here in info, you'll notice that you have usage hours, AHI, a mask fit, three stars, one, two or three stars, the humidity also, it, it lets you know how well you're doing with all of that. And then you get you get a lot of more information regarding leaks, OAI, AI, RIRA, P95, AHI, CAI, HI, and SNI. So each of these uh, represents information that you or your doctor might want to know. Let's start with leakage. So obviously if you're having problems with your mask leaking, this will give you that information here. The OAI is uh, is actually obstructive apnea index and the um, apnea index, the RIRA, the respiratory 
effort related arousals. And then the P95 is real interesting. That one is letting you know most of the time or 95 percent of the time what your pressure is actually running at. Now next, let's go back out of information. Let's take a look at humidity. By the way, if there's no water in the tank, this will jump right over humidity and move on to the next one. So on humidity, I'm pressing the dial in. You can set it on off, so totally turn the humidity off if you want to, um, or you can put the humidity on odd to, or you can set it anywhere between one and eight. So for this one, I'm gonna put it on auto. And then also there is a mask fit. So when you press the button here, this is before you start the night off. You might wanna set the dial on mask fit, press the button. And now for the next 30 seconds, you're basically just testing to see if the mask is fitting well or not. I'm covering up the, the outlet in the back to allow no leaks right now. So you get a nice little smiley face. Watch what happens if I allow it to leak a little bit. Adjust. So it's just a way to let you know how to get your mask fitting properly before you stop, before you start the night out. Gives you 30 seconds. That's optional. Then we're gonna get into the real most important menus, the comfort menus. So you can adjust any and all of these the IPR has to do with your exhalation. So uh, if you can see this, you press in on the dial, you have an option to turn that off, set it on one, two, or three. This allows you to exhale more easily. The higher you have this number set, the easier it will be to exhale. So if you're having trouble, it feels like you can't breathe out, set this all the way up on three, press the dial in. Now you also have auto start. With auto start, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just a setting that when you put the mask on, the machine will automatically start. It senses your breathing and it will begin to run automatically. So you can turn that on or off. And then preheat, this is optional. Uh, some people like to actually warm up the water before they actually start using the CPAP. So you can just come in here to the comfort settings, set it on preheat, turn the preheat on, and now the water is going to be warm whenever it's time to actually go to sleep. The pressure ramp. So this is just asking you, where do you want to start the ramp pressure? You remember the button on the top? Looks like a little triangle. So if you press that button, you're going to start at whatever pressure you set here. Four is a good pressure that I would recommend. The ramp time. This is just saying, how long does it take? The ramp, once you press the ramp button, is it gonna take it 25 minutes, uh, up to 60 minutes before it gets up to your prescribed pressure? Now the gold standard here is to probably set it right around 20 minutes. That's a good place for it to be. Then you've got your tube type. So either you'll probably have a 15 millimeter hose or a 19 millimeter hose. The one that comes with this machine is the 19 millimeter. So I'm gonna set it right there. And then this is very important. You wanna have your mask type set. Basically there's three different types of masks, the full face, the pillow, or the nasal mask. So you're telling machine which mask you actually use right there. Now finally, after comfort settings, let's go down to settings. And in settings, you have several different options. The pressure unit, which is and should always be centimeters of water. <clears throat> the language, just set it at your language that you speak, probably English. Now here's a brightness setting. So it can be set at three, two, or one. Let's set that at one. So actually, looks a lot better this way too. So also you have an energy saving mode. You can turn that on or off. You can set the date, the date format, and the time. Now here's a feature in this machine that almost no other machines have, the alarm clock. You can turn the alarm clock on and tell it what time you want it to alarm. And it actually will alarm at that particular time. Then there are reminders. The reminders 
or you can set it so that it will remind you when it's time to get a new filter time to get a new mask time to get a new hose water tank or if you have like a let's say a clinic appointment coming up you can set a date in there for that also service time so the machine will remind you now key ketone you notice that you're hearing it beep every time i turn this dial that's because i have the ketone turned on so i could turn that off and now it's very silent lastly on this menu is the about menu it will let you know your model of machine, serial number, et cetera, the machine hours that it's ever been running, et cetera. So all of that is there. Now, I promised that I would let you see what the clinical menu looks like. So let me just get the machine into clinical mode here. So your provider will actually look at your prescription and first of all, decide whether this should be CPAP or APAP. So APAP is going to have two different pressures. The CPAP would be just one single pressure. So let's take a look at APAP. That's most all prescriptions these days. So we would have a minimum pressure. In this particular case, it's four and a maximum pressure. So this is something that your doctor can change. Uh, but if you needed to change this, uh, the, the doctor would write a prescription. We could change that to, let's say, six and 14. And then finally, I want to tell you about our care. That is something special just for just for the eye breeze. Our care is a setting that we can only either turn on or off. And what it does is it will allow the machine to start at only 95% of your prescribed pressure. And it does this to try to help you fall asleep. So a lot of people will actually be awakened by the machine whenever the pressure gets up to 100%. So if it's set so that the arc air is on, the machine will run at 95% of the prescribed pressure right at that point when you're falling asleep. So it's a really neat feature to have. Less likely that it's gonna wake you up right when you're falling asleep. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you haven't already, join our brand new Facebook group titled CPAP for Beginners. Just go on Facebook, search CPAP for Beginners. You'll find the group, join it. it we're having a lot of fun in that group, answering a lot of questions and helping hopefully a lot of people. Take care. Bye-bye.